Staying fit and healthy is really important for everybody. It gives you a much better feeling about yourself and reduces the chance of you developing health issues later on in your life. Why am I talking about this? Well, recently I decided to change a few things about my lifestyle as I'd gotten myself into a position that I really wasn't happy with. I'd like to share that experience with you today in the hope that you don't fall into the same trap as me. Back when I was 16, young and carefree, I was perhaps at the tip of my healthometer. I played a lot of football, or soccer for you Yanks watching out there, six times a week. Yeah, six times a week. On Mondays, I attended academy training for Charlton Athletic, that's a football club here in the UK. Tuesday was training for the team I played for on a Sunday. Wednesday was training for my Saturday team, I had Thursdays off. Friday night was five aside down the local leisure centre with my mates I played with on a Saturday. And then on Saturday was game day and Sunday as well. I was extremely fit, I was very, very healthy and I was really quick as well. I played as a striker and I was the only left-footed player on the teams that I played for. So I was pretty much guaranteed a game every single week. So I was going flat out six days a week. Back then, I wasn't much shorter than I am right now. I'm about 5 foot 10, which is about 1 meter 75, and I weighed around 11 stone, which is about 154 pounds or so, and I was pretty much at the height of fitness for a 16 year old. I doubt there was much fat on me, and I could run about really without caring. There was no difference between me exercising or just being my normal self. There was literally no effort to it whatsoever. Fast forward to mid-2015, and I just laid down a deposit on a flat to rent with my girlfriend Jess. I was growing my YouTube channel really nicely and doing something that I really enjoyed. But I'd neglected my health. Ever since I stopped playing football when I was about 18, in mid-2015, I was 21 at this point, I'd stopped exercising as well. Now for most people, eating right and walking around every day should be plenty enough exercise for you to keep your weight balanced. But I ignored that, and because I was focusing myself on YouTube, I was doing really well there, and wanted to put all my time and effort into it, I let my weight slide a little bit. By mid-2015, I weighed 15 and a half stone, which is about 220 pounds. I wasn't comfortable with this weight, but I had so much going on in my life that my eating habits just went all over the place. I couldn't manage my time effectively to be able to eat regularly and eat the right things. I drank fizzy drinks from vending machines at work because it was convenient. I ate takeaway more often than not at least once a week, which not only being extremely unhealthy, but cost me a small fortune. I drank full fat milk in my coffee, which I must admit did always come from a barista cafe like Starbucks or Costa, again costing me a lot of money in the process. I used to have one or two of those every single day. And more often than not, that would also have sugar and vanilla syrup in it which uh, does taste very, very nice, but is really, really fattening. Now, everybody likes eating nice things, but the culmination of all this took its toll on my body and my brain as well. It became very demotivating for me. I, I didn't feel like I could do anything. I felt very lethargic, and I'd lost my drive to do things properly. I'd look at myself and know full well why I was the way I was, but I couldn't bring myself to really change it. I was lazy. It was easy not looking after my body. It was easy to just roll in through the door after work and get cracking with YouTube whilst ordering a takeaway. And as I said, but not only had I let myself go, but my financial situation looked bleak at the end of each month as well. I wasn't saving any money to be able to do things in my future, put money away for maybe a holiday or something like that. I'd wonder where all my money had gone and then I'd remember all the food I'd bought. Things needed to change. Now, I knew I wasn't that bad in terms of my weight, but I knew I did need to change something. My dad's side of my family has quite a long history of high blood pressure and heart problems, and the last thing I wanted to start was developing issues at a relatively young age. I didn't want to burden myself with issues whilst I was still trying to live my life to the full. And this is where I decided to make that change. 
During the last couple of months of 2015, I tried to cut back on my sugar intake, cut out the takeaway and gain some control over what I was eating. But of course, it being Christmas at that time of the year, it was a very hard thing to do. But as of January the 1st, that was the changing point. New year, new me and all that crap. I literally cut everything bad out of my life. I structured my day around small snacks in the morning and afternoon and a well-balanced dinner in the evening. My typical day is now this. If I get up in the morning and have cereal, I have that with skimmed milk as opposed to having semi-skimmed or full fat. I mean, I could have semi-skimmed, but skimmed is just cutting all of the fat out of milk altogether. It doesn't taste that great, but I am getting cereal into my body and that's full of fiber, which is really good for your digestion. A lot of the time, I'll have a cup of tea with my breakfast and again, that's with skimmed milk and there's no sugar in there either. For the first few days, tea without sugar tasted horrific because, well, there's no sugar in it anymore. But now, three weeks later, I've got used to it and it's really not that bad. Mid-morning, I chow down on a piece of fruit and that's usually a banana or an apple. Those are just two of the fruits that I absolutely love. I'll also eat grapes as well, but I don't really feel like they're enough for me. So I'm trying to eat something that looks substantial, like a banana or an apple, almost tricking myself into thinking I'm eating more than I actually am. And all the way through the day, I'll be drinking water constantly as well, as that can really help to fill you up. And a tip if you wanted one is before you eat, if you drink half a pint of water, that sits in your stomach, which means you end up not eating as much as you normally would. Lunch at the moment is a flavoured whole grain rice packet, which you can stick in the microwave for two minutes and then it cooks it. Tastes really, really nice if you get like a tomato based one. And then I have a chicken breast with that. I'll just have a small one and just cut it up on top, mix it in with the rice and that makes for a nice lunch. And then to give me some energy throughout the afternoon, I'll have another fruit hit at maybe 2 or 3 p.m. And mainly I go for an apple at this point. Just, I don't know why, got into this rhythm of having a banana in the morning and an apple in the afternoon. And then onto the evening where I'll come home from work and have a nice balanced meal. Plenty of vegetables in there, likely again a bit of chicken or fish. And then maybe some new potatoes or something a little bit starchy to give me something nice at the end of the day. But again, portion control is really key there. Now, it's been three weeks since I started doing this and already I feel so much better. I almost feel lighter, I have more energy, and I don't feel sluggish when I come home in the evenings. I'm not setting myself a target for weight loss. That's something I really don't want to get into because if you don't achieve the target, you end up feeling demotivated. And especially with your weight and the way you look, that can be something that really hits you quite hard. And I'm certainly not letting myself have a time limit on when I need to be slimmer either. I don't care if it takes six, eight months, even a year, before I get back to being comfortable in my own body. These things will just happen on their own. And well, as long as I continue to eat healthily and eat relatively portion controlled meals and make sure I get a nice balance in there, then I know the weight will fall off over time. And finally, I'm not currently going through an exercise routine at the moment. I'm just using my diet to try and get rid of some of the fat reserves inside my body before I go and put all that strain on my body to try and lose the rest of the weight. I do get quite a severe pain in my right ankle and my right knee when I do exercise at the moment. And I think that's probably due down to it being the weaker side of my body. I am left footed but also because I think I'm carrying so much weight that my ankle's a bit like, hey, you need to lose some weight before you can start doing that. So if I can lose weight through my diet, first of all, when it comes to me exercising, I shouldn't get that pain on my leg and my ankle and therefore probably be easier for me to lose that weight in the end. It's been a big challenge, even in these first three weeks, not to be taken in by the cravings of fast food and sugar. But I really wanted to share this with you as a lesson as to what can happen if you don't look after your body. As I said, I'm not the biggest guy in the world and I haven't got the most weight to lose, but I really just wasn't comfortable in my own body and I wanted to change that. I might not have suffered any real health problems at this point, but do what you can to keep yourself healthy. You'll feel more confident about yourself and overall, you will just feel better. 
thanks for watching. I know it's not your standard video here on this channel, but I felt like if I can tell this story to you guys, it might help some of you out who might be in a similar situation. And it will serve as a marker for me in my progress to getting back in shape. I don't really like talking about myself all that much. I talk about the games that I play and the things that I enjoy, but me as a person, I don't really talk about myself that much. But I thought if I can share that with you guys, then maybe that'll help me go even further and get myself back into shape. If you enjoyed the video, dropping me a thumbs up would be massively appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.